I, I, <laughs> I genuinely don't think there's a such thing as a high value woman because mm. all women have value. So therefore it'd be kind of ridiculous to say that there's high value women up there out there. And what I mean by that is a woman can only claim she's high value. If she has a high value man that co-signs her, she can only become high value by taking a high value man's last name because mm. becoming high value is very difficult to attain. And I argue that all women have value, not like men. There's a lot of low value men. So some like mid-level men, and then there's some high value men, but all women to some degree have value because a woman that's average can absolutely bat five levels above her and get a high value man, but it can't work the other way around. So I don't since it's that, since those sexual dynamics are so polarized, I don't think there's such thing as a high value woman unless there's a high value man cosigning her. I disagree. Okay, sure. Because some people think that Andrew Tate is a high value man, but I wouldn't consider him to be a high value man. So if he was to co-sign me as a high value woman, it would mean nothing to me because I don't see him in that light. Okay. Okay. Um, Hurrah! Fair, fair uh, assessment, but uh, this is where I disagree with you. Being high value doesn't necessarily deal with morality. Does he have status? Does he have respect from peers? Does he have respect? I mean, in his case, he has respect worldwide. He has financial success, right? We could take it a step further. Trained martial artist, four-time kickboxing world champion. Yep. On paper, he's absolutely high value. Yep. 